Please, without light, turn off the light. Back at the foot of Mount Sinai, we were commanded for the first time Slicker to Lisa. build the tabernacle. Slicker Lisa. And in fact, after the giving of the Torah at Mount Sinai, the tabernacle was built. The tabernacle is a portable, temporary temple. But for 39 years, it accompanied us in our wanderings through the desert, taken apart and reassembled again and again. During the Holy Land, Joshua established the tabernacle in Shiloh. The Shiloh tabernacle is built of a stone foundation and wooden beams and covered by layers of fabric. A combination symbolizing the transition from a temporary tabernacle to a more permanent one. Shiloh is to be the dwelling place of the Shekhinah, the divine presence, the holiest site for the Jewish people for 369 years. The tabernacle was comprised of two main parts, the courtyard and the tabernacle tent. The tabernacle courtyard was rectangular, 100 cubits in length by 50 cubits in width, about 50 meters by 25 meters. In the heart of the courtyard stood the altar, made of wood overlaid with copper. On it burned the eternal fire, on which sacrifices, meal offerings, and wine offerings were made every single day. Since it is forbidden to ascend the altar by stairs, the Kohanim, the priests, ascended by a ramp. Before the Kohanim begin the tabernacle service, they would purify their hands and feet in the copper laving basin which stood between the altar and the tabernacle tent. It is said that when the contributions for the tabernacle were collected in the desert, all the women donated their copper mirrors from which the laving basin was made. First thing in the morning, the Kohanim entered the tabernacle tent, the sanctuary, for the day's service. Twice a day, they burned incense on the gold-plated incense altar. A blend of 11 special spices, which were placed on the coals, and whose wonderful perfume wafted far into the distance. Once a week, twelve special loaves of bread were placed on the golden table, which stood at the north end of the sanctuary. The secret method of preparing the showbread was passed down from father to son. Every evening, the candles of the seven-branched menorah, which stood in the south across from the table, were kindled. The menorah was made of a single piece of solid gold and ornamented with flower-like cups, buds, and blossoms. At the tip of every branch was a receptacle into which pure olive oil was poured. Ever since, the menorah has been one of the symbols of the Jewish nation. Only once a year, on Yom Kippur, the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, entered the Holy of Holies. In the Holy of Holies stood the Ark of the Covenant, on top of which were the curtain and the two cherubs. The cherubs were in the form of two angels facing each other with wings outstretched over the ark. Inside the ark were the tablets of the covenant, the first tablets, which were broken by Moses, and the second, unbroken tablets. The tablets and the broken tablets lie inside the ark. This is the place from which God's voice is heard. And I will speak to you from above the Ark cover, between the two cherubs, which are above the Ark of the Covenant. The tabernacle is a place of meeting, where man meets himself, where man meets his brothers and his people, where man meets his creator. There is much more to it than meets the eye. The clues and secrets hidden in every part of the tabernacle and its vessels are many. For 369 years, the tabernacle dwelt in Shiloh until the city was destroyed by the Philistines. It then wandered until Solomon built the temple in Jerusalem. But to this
this very day, it is said, if you stand where the tabernacle stood and take a deep, deep breath, you can smell, if only for a moment, the scent of the incense, which still suffuses the walls. So 